Are you that guy in your group who all your hunting buddies admire because you rarely miss? Well, if you're not, then listen up, because I'm gonna give you the number one reason that I see in the woods with my clients day in and day out that makes lots of guys miss a lot more than they should. My name is Chris Miller, and this is Miller Outdoors. I run a guide service in northern New Hampshire, just south of the Canadian border. For decades now, I've made my living outdoors and I wouldn't have it any other way. What's not to love? <laughs> Do you envy a hunting buddy who seems to hit most everything he shoots at, even when he's got almost no time to aim? Are you that guy in your hunting group that all your buddies admire because you rarely miss? If not, then listen up, because I'm gonna tell you the number one reason that I see in the woods with my clients, day in and day out, that makes lots of guys miss a lot more than they should. But before we get to that, if you like outdoor tips like this, then click that subscribe button down there underneath the video and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. I'm out here hunting today with Elmer. Elmer, say hi. Howdy. Okay, here we go. What's the number one reason lots of guys miss more than they should with a shotgun? The answer is because the shotgun doesn't fit them properly. No, I'm not talking about some fancy high dollar custom built big money shotgun being the answer to all your shooting woes. But what I am talking about is does the shotgun get mounted every time where your dominant eye is directly in line with that front bead without any adjustment needed after it hits your cheek? Ever notice that a rifle has a rear sight but a shotgun doesn't? Well, that's not entirely true because a shotgun does have a rear sight right here. Your shotgun's rear sight is your dominant eye. And if that rear sight isn't in the same place each and every time that you draw that shotgun to your cheek, then fast, consistent accuracy becomes impossible. Now imagine shooting a rifle where the rear sight of the rifle was in a slightly different spot each time you put that rifle to your shoulder. Are you gonna hit your target? Maybe, but you'd probably do a whole lot of missing. It's the same with your shotgun. If your rear sight, your dominant eye, isn't looking right down the sight plane, it's the same as the rear sight on the rifle being in the wrong spot. What are you gonna hit then? Now with a shotgun, you'll get lucky and have your pattern open up enough to get a pellet or two into your target, but the center of that pattern isn't going to be showering that target very often. And lots of little animals are gonna keep hopping or flying away untouched or even worse, wounded. So with a shotgun, it must fit so that the rear sight lines up with the front sight just like a rifle. Now you could be accurate with a shotgun that didn't fit you properly by putting it up and adjusting your cheek on the stock each time to make sure everything's lined up perfectly, but that takes a lot of time. And us small game hunters don't generally have a lot of time to get off a good shot. Time is usually very much of the essence. And you don't have that time luxury of getting things just right before the animal's gone. The solution is a shotgun that fits you. So that rear sight, your dominant eye lines up with the front bead each and every time it gets mounted. No adjustment necessary. Now you're probably thinking, well, that's great, Chris. <laughs> now I know a shotgun has to fit, but how do I tell if my shotgun actually fits me? So here's how you tell if your shotgun fits you. You take your unloaded shotgun and get into your shooting position. You close both of your eyes. With your eyes closed, you mount your shotgun. So with the shotgun mounted like you're gonna shoot, you open your eyes. You wanna be looking downrange, down your sight plane without adjusting your head. And if you're looking right down that vent rib and everything is lined up perfectly, then that shotgun fits you. But if you need to adjust your head even a little bit to line things up, you've got a problem. All right, Elmer, you've been missing quite a bit today, so let's see how that shotgun fits you. All right. Nope, the bead ain't lined up with the center of that there vent rib. But what's that got to do with anything? Ooh, Chris, dogs is coming. Hold on. Darn, maybe you're right. 
Maybe it don't fit me. Now this proper fit is how some guys can hit virtually everything they're shooting at with a shotgun because all they have to do is be looking at their target. There's no aiming, there's no adjusting, there's no worrying about any of that. They just up and bang. They just up and bang. Just as fast as that. It's how they can be so fast and take advantage of those quick snapshot situations where a majority of guys just don't have enough time to get off a good shot because that extra half a second or one or two extra seconds it takes to line things up after it's on your shoulder often makes a massive difference in a small game hunting situation. The good news is that the fix is not difficult. So long as you know what you're looking for. So if your shotgun isn't a perfect fit, how do you fix it? Well first, you figure out what you've got to do to the stock to make it so you're sight, your dominant eye, lines up with that front bead each and every time you throw it to your shoulder. Often you need to build up the cheek area, called the stock's comb a little bit, with some moleskin or cloth gun tape or neoprene sticky pad or whatever. I've got a favorite product that I've used in the past and I'll put a link to it down underneath the video. It's very inexpensive and I've used it a few times with success. It basically allows you to adjust the height of your stock without altering the gun permanently. It's inexpensive and it works really well. Comb on the stock? How's that gonna work? I'll try it. Glad I brought my duct tape. All right, there's a comb on the stock. Let's try it with that. Nah, that don't line up neither. Ooh, hold on, here they come again. Here they come again. didn't work neither. I think old Chris might be full of crap. Y'all just keep doing what you've been doing. You'll probably get better. <laughs> Man, Elmer, you've got spray and pray down pat. Now often, if a shotgun doesn't fit you properly, one of those inexpensive products that I link below is all it takes to get it to fit. Other times the fit is so far off that you really can't get it to fit without major modifications. So in a case like that, you're probably better off getting rid of the shotgun and trying a different one. Now the good news is that after you get this all figured out, this has become pretty rare. And you actually get a bit bored with long shotguns. Then you end up seeking out more challenging ways to hunt these little rascals like 410 pistols and other things to give them a fighting chance. But that's a discussion for another day. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope some of these ideas help you be the guy in your group who's shooting everybody admires. If you enjoyed the video, I appreciate you shooting that like button down there. Shh, here they come again. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. Oh boy. Uh... <laughs> Damn. And if you know anybody else who may benefit from this video, like maybe a hunting buddy who can't hit a bull in the butt with a shovel, then maybe share it with them so they become a little bit better shot. You can give them a little needle along with the share. How'd you do that time, Elmer? Let me guess, he's still going. Hey, happy hunting to you. Until next video, take care.